So promoter Eddie Hearn lays down the gauntlet on all heavyweight contenders. He issues out a very public challenge. And this is what he says. It's important at this point for everyone to realize there is a big difference between fighters wanting to face Anthony Joshua and fighters simply saying they want to. We have made offers to the major heavyweight contenders and we will be making more offers in the next couple of days with a view to finalizing a decision in the next 10 days over Joshua's next fight. Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, and Dylan White all have the opportunity to get in the ring at Wembley in April and fight Joshua for world titles. If you think you can beat him, our message is simple. Come and get it. Who really wants it? This is your chance. Now, also in this interview, Eddie Hearn takes off a brief moment to throw some shade at Deontay Wilder's way. And Eddie Hearn goes on to say, The difficulty and the frustration is that I have now gone on five or six unanswered emails from their end across three weeks or so. Is Wilder bluffing the public when he says he wants this fight? If he truly wants it, it's there. And he knows it is. It's there because we have told him if he doesn't want it, he can have his rematch with Tyson Fury and take on Dominic Brazil and good luck to him. Man, at this point, you really got to ask yourself, what the fuck is going on in the heavyweight division? And that's just real talk. And there's too much opportunity on the floor for anybody to pass it up. Instead, we got people more worried about what they're going to get paid from taking the opportunity than rather just taking the opportunity. And that doesn't make no sense. When you got the heavyweight champ, Unified heavyweight champ calling out Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, Big Baby Miller, Luis Ortiz. Anybody who got any kind of spark or glimmer next to their name. You know what I'm saying? The top 10 in the division. You know what I'm saying? The top contenders. And nobody's answering them and everybody's bitching and complaining about money. That's got Anthony Joshua looking like the boogeyman in of the heavyweight division. So not only is he a king, but don't nobody want to fight him. Is that what it's looking like? Because if these heavyweights was from back in the day, the opportunity would have been seized. I know fighters that would have fought Anthony Joshua for 500000 Straight up. And he's bringing all the belts to your doorstep but one. But one. Okay? He's done all the work for you. You know, he's going to put you up in there with Wembley Stadium. You know, that's going to give you a profile boost out of this world and, and some experience in front of a big crowd and some experience in the ring. And more than likely, it'll be your career high payday. Nine times out of ten. What is there to pass up there? And there's an opportunity that you could actually win. You know what I'm saying? There's a chance that you actually could win on top of that and become the man. What is there to think about? Honestly. What is there to think about? You know, Tyson Fury supposedly had this Cinderella come back. Well, why not make it whole and just go for Anthony Joshua? I mean, if you took a guaranteed uh, three million from a Deontay Wilder fight and you keep saying that he's more dangerous than Anthony Joshua, then why not go ahead and uh, fight Anthony Joshua for the whole shebang? You know, and the same thing with Wilder and the same thing with everybody else. There's too much opportunity on the table for these guys to be passing up. And had these been old school fighters, this wouldn't have been something that we've even been, been talking about. But then again, that's my opinion. Leo thoughts in the comment section. Bruce Van, I'm out.